everybody, welcome to my channel. It is time to share with you guys how I make my t-shirts. Now it is almost Christmas time and I am super excited to make some shirts to wear. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I got. So this is a shirt that I got from jiffyshirts.com. It was this pretty green and then on a hot summer day that we had just recently, I ended up going outside and bleaching shirts. I would love to bleach more shirts but I live in Wisconsin and it's harder to bleach shirts when it's cold outside, but I might try and experience, experiment and bleach some shirts in the winter when we have snow and see how well they turn out. But what I did is I just took some bleach and I made a little square. I took my piece of paper, I squirted all around the piece of paper and then I kind of just covered inside and then I splattered it. So this is a Canva shirt. Um, I absolutely love this brand, Canvas, Bella Canvas, and this is 52% cotton and 48% polyester. So in order to bleach it, you need a 50, kind of a 50-50 shirt. So, and also what I've learned to make it like look that white is you need like a heather color. So this is like a heather green. If you have any questions on what color shirt this is, you can always send me a message or comment below and I can tell you. So this was a design that I got on designbundles.com. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, it's a really cool website where you can get, um, prints but they also have it where you can get free free projects to work on so they actually had this thing now I don't know if, when you are watching that if this is still available but they had these individual like Christmas cups available and I thought that was cool it was free so then what I did is I went to canva.com I put uploaded five of these cups and then I kind of just moved them around a bit and I put them on a sheet of paper and then I printed this now this you do not have to uh, reverse if you don't want to because there's really no writing on it so I'm pretty excited to see how well this is a design that I just got the cups but this is a design that I kind of made on the computer so I'm pretty excited with that and that paper is the sublimation printer printer paper it is a sub you will need a sublimation printer I actually have a Epson printer that I converted into a sublimation printer I will have the link below and I will have a video for you guys soon about what printer I use but this is the paper that I use I absolutely love it it is a hundred sheets 110 sheets and I've used a lot but the back says a sub and the other side is just plain like that so you're gonna need that um, I also have some scissors and then I also have some a trimmer if you need that which I think I might kind of make some scraggly lines around here because sometimes when you press you might see a border if your sheet is kind of um, straight. The next item you will need is some heat tape. Now I use some, I have some smaller tape and I have some bigger tape. This is the bigger one. I actually like the bigger one. I use the bigger one when I make my tumblers, but the small one will do fine actually because I don't need that much tape when I do a shirt. So you will need some heat resistant tape. Another thing you will need is some heat resistant gloves and I will have links for all this stuff below. And then the last thing that you need is butcher paper. The butcher paper is paper that you need to use in between your shirt so you're gonna make sure you tear off because you want to put it in between the shirt because you don't want it to sublimate through the back and then you also put it on the top also so it doesn't ruin the top of your press so the next thing we're gonna do is kind of lay out the shirt and then I'm gonna tape or put my butchered paper between it and I will show you guys the press so here is my press. We have the Vivor. This is the five in one. So this is a swing away heat press. I have this one thing in the way, but I will show you guys that in a second. And then it attaches with this. So what you would do is you would just unscrew this and I will show you guys more videos on more items on this, but you would unscrew this and you would take, this is a mug press. And what you would do is just plug this right in. Here is your handle and you would just press it right inside like that um, for your mug if you needed to do that and then you can also tighten it if you want for the mug press this is also has a plate press so you got two different plates that you can use on that so we got that and then it also has a hat press this is something you would connect to I think this I'm not sure how to connect everything quite yet but you would connect this and this and then the hat would press 
with that. But like I said, I will show you guys more videos on how to use this one. But today we're going to just use the regular heat press and let's turn it on. So it's pretty easy. You just turn it right on. And what you're going to do is you're going to have it where this is your temperature. So what you'll do is you hit mode. Right now I have it to set to 400. If you want it to go up or down, you just make sure you click mode. Make sure... Um, you have it at set, but we're going to like change the temperature. So here you can change it to that, but I'm going to leave it at 400. And then here you can set the time to whatever you want. I have it for 60 seconds, so I'm just going to let it that way. And then when you get this, when it's all ready to go, it doesn't automatically count down. You do have to push the start button or play button, but this is a swing away. So what it does is it just swings and goes back and forth and then you press it down for it to start um, if you need to adjust it but what I'm gonna do is share with you guys what I do with the shirt so I actually take this off um, and I will show you guys what I do next so what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna lay out my shirt so if you guys see like this sorry if you're gonna see it upside down but then what I do is I take some of my butcher paper I just kinda just make sure it is about the same size of where I'm going to uh, press and then I put, go inside the shirt and I lay it in there because again you don't want it to sublimate through to the other side um, I can kind of see where the butcher paper is on this side sorry my camera fell okay so you're gonna make sure that the butcher paper is kind of where you want it to be set so I think I need to rotate it a little bit and then you want to make sure that everything is nicely smooth inside that is including the shirt the back of the shirt and then the butcher paper so we're just going to make sure everything is smooth i think i need to rotate the butcher paper i didn't have a big sheet like i wanted to it just kind of ripped that way i didn't cut it with my scissors that i had but that is okay so we're just going to let it sit like that i'm going to make sure that everything is completely flattened out and that's that then you're gonna take your design and you're gonna make sure that it's on where you want I'm making sure that it's on the butcher paper where I press it um, when you do your sublimating um, you want to make sure it's like even in the shirt but since I kind of already um, bleached this I'm kind of just eyeing it up but I think that's about right where I want it then you're going to take your tape. Some people don't like using a lot of tape. Some people like using a lot of tape. I've learned my lesson where if I don't press on all four corners when this thing lifts up, sometimes the sheet will lift up with it. And since the product is still hot, that it could land in a different spot and then it'll start sublimating on that spot. So you want to make sure it's pressed nice and even like that. My, temp my press does take a little bit for it to warm up. We're halfway there. So then the next thing I'm going to do is when the timer's on, we're going to slide it right into the press. Okay, so it is at almost 400 degrees. Like I said, it does take a little bit for this to warm up, which is okay because it's perfect because I'm preparing for everything while this is warming up. So the next thing you're going to do is hear a beep, and then you're going to want to move it over, or I thought it was going to beep. Um, but you're going to move it to the sideways right here. Um, and then what I do is I take that little, those two little pads that I have underneath because it's easier for me to transfer the shirt over to the press. Okay, now it's beeping at me. So you want to make sure that the shirt is, again, 100% smoothed. And you want to make sure that it's going to hit every single part of that, um, design so I have to just scoot it up a little bit again make sure it's nice and smooth then you're just gonna sway it here and it does stick back in front a little bit but when it moves back it actually will do that so we're good and then we push start and you're gonna let it uh, work for 60 seconds Okay, so my timer didn't work all of a sudden, so I just used my phone, and then after I got it to work, it finally started working, but it's been about a minute, and then you're going to lift it up, take it away, 
Oh, I really did. I burned the shirt, which is okay because I will show you guys a trick on that. But we're going to take it out right here. I'm going to shut this off. Okay, as you see, I burned the shirt a little bit because I said my timer wasn't working, but that's okay. You learn from your mistakes. But what you can do to get rid of the burn marks is take hydrogen peroxide and kind of just rinse it all out in the shirt and it'll come right off. I actually had a shirt that sat for a couple days and then I used the hydrogen peroxide and it came off. But I will show you guys that in a second. But here is the shirt. Turned out perfect. Everything except this little spot right here didn't turn out to my liking, but that is okay. But now let's go take some hydrogen peroxide and get the burn mark out. Okay, sorry if you guys can't hear me, but I'm outside. I'm just going to spray it with my spray. Otherwise, you can dip it inside a um, bowl. It is really windy out here, but then we're just going to let it kind of just soak in the burn mark. And then I'm going to put it in the dryer. But let that sit for a little bit, and then we'll come right back. So here it is, here is the shirt, you guys. All I did was just spray it with hydrogen peroxide, let it dry outside, or you could put it in your dryer, I've done both. And here it is, all the burn marks are gone. I absolutely love this shirt. It turned out perfectly, it matches the green perfectly, and I'm so excited to wear it this holiday season. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to be definitely sharing with you guys more sublimation stuff. I have a hat to be making soon, some coasters, and I also have a tote that I'll be making. So you definitely want to subscribe to that channel if you haven't already. And make sure you guys check out the Vivor Heat Press, the 5-in-1. It is absolutely wonderful, and you can do so much with it. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye-bye.